So I had a little bit of resin left over from doing the flood coats on the dragonflies. So I wanted to kind of do something other than eggs because I've done plenty of eggs recently with the extra resin. So let me get my gloves on. I'm going to do something cool. So I have these little molds and they're necklace molds. Sorry for that. Um, so they have the little holes set up in them to where it would leave the hole for you to put the hanger in to add a chain. And there's all different shapes here. There's squares, rectangles, circle, oval, and teardrop. So my thoughts were to mix the resin in some colors and then try to do see if it's too small to do it or what and try to do some little beach themed um, necklaces, necklace pendants. So we're going to try that and see if they're going to be too small to do or what. So I'm going to use the same colors that I used in the trays for the beach theme and we're just going to go from there. So I'm just going to use a very little of each because I don't have a lot of resin left. Um, that's mixed up. So I'm just going to take a little dab of the ultramarine blue from Arteza. Then we've got the pearl copper gold from Arteza. That's going to be our beach. A little bit of dab. Just, just a drop. That's all it is, is a drop. And we've got our titanium white, and that's for our waves for right now. Um, I have looked into it, and I have watched a video that a lady had, and we are going to try soon to order the white that she uses um, to get her waves, and her waves are really, really awesome. So, and then we're going to do the folk art color shift in the aqua flash. Again, just a little dot. And then we're going to add resin. So I'm going to pull these up to where I can see to stir. And we're going to just add some resin. To each cup. And then we'll mix it up and see where we go from there. I just spilt some resin, but that's okay, because this is a piece that I'm going to have to redo eventually. I'm just using it as a desk right now. So if I spill a little, it's okay. We can sand it off and redo. Rub all the resin off of both sides of the stick. Give me a few star sticks here. And we're going to mix these up. <clears throat> Be sure when you're mixing, you scrub the sides and the bottom, which I know I say that a lot, but I'm new to resin, so I'm learning and helps remind me to do it. Okay. This is going to be interesting because these molds are so tiny. <clears throat> so it's kind of going to be interesting to see if it works, if you can really be that detailed without having like little bitty tipped bottles and you can't really do 
tipped bottles with resin, I feel like, so, you know, that would be interesting anyway. It would be really hard to keep it from hardening in those bottles. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I'm going to try with the rectangle first because it's longer. Um, I'm going to try to sit it over here, I guess, because there's a black background so it would be easier. So I want to just put a little bit in for the beach. I don't want to overdo it. So I want to get some on it. I don't want drips. So this is detail work, so it's probably going to be a little slower. Take a little time, you guys. Okay, I can always add a little bit more beach in a little bit. I want to get some of the blue ocean up top. I don't want the beach to run, so I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. A little bit more. I definitely want more ocean than beach. I'm try to get it all the way up in that corner. <clears throat> on the white I just want to drizzle it but I want to drizzle it right through there Okay, then I'm going to get my straw that I used to move it around with, because I'm going to have to put some more in here anyway, but I kind of want to, I don't want stark lines. We're going to blow it out just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to get a brush tip here. And just kind of maneuver it. Okay. Let's get that there and clean that off. Because I will use that again. And so, it's not quite full, so we need to add a little bit more, and then I'll blow it again. I mean, it doesn't have to be to the top, but it does need to be thick enough to not just break. Um, so there does need to be like enough color in there, enough resin in there. I'm just doing a little each, of each color at a time. And then I'll go back in there and blow it again. Okay. I'm going to blow it again. I'm going to 
gonna take the tip of this brush. A dotting tool would probably also work great. Those of you that do dotting. Okay. And I think that one's good. I also think what I'm going to do is, I can't bring you guys in closer, so I'm going to try to pick it up without messing it up and show you. And then we're going to sit it back down flat. And we're just going to go on to another one. I've got a round one. Next time when I do this, I'll zoom you in closer, but I uh, can't really <laughs> do that while the camera's going. It won't let me. I just tried. I also can't take too much time because I don't want my resin to sit up in my cups. Because I do want to be able to do all of these. And I think I've got enough resin here to do probably all five of these molds. Maybe. it this way because I want that blue to go around that piece. Add a little bit more of this aqua. Put some more of the sand and then we're going to blow it out as well. Shoulders hurt, you guys. <clears throat> Actually, before I let that one sit much longer, I do need to just run a torch over it real quick. Definitely can't forget that. That's an important part. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add a little bit more of the sand because it needs to be a little thicker. Um, the mold's not even half full. And then we'll add the water and it'll push the sand back this way some.
the mold definitely has to be full enough around the spots where it makes it a necklace. going to go in and just move some of that around so it looks like waves instead of just drops in the water. Move that white back down here along the beach line. Okay. That looks good. We're going to torch it. We'll torch them again after we give them time to kind of rise some. Okay. And I know this video is really long, so I'm probably going to do the rest of these off camera. Um, just because the video is already long. And then we'll come back and once they're set up, we'll take them out of the molds on camera. So let me know what you guys think about this ideal.